Hi, everybody. I'm Amanda, doctor of physical therapy with fitnessblender.com. And today I have for you a total body strength and cardio routine. So we're going to be working for 35 seconds on and then resting for 10 seconds. For equipment, you're going to need a set of light dumbbells. I'm going to be using five pounds. That's just a reference. That's not a suggestion. You're also going to need an exercise mat. Throughout the 24 no repeat exercises, I will talk about some modifications, but do check out the write up because I will go into more detail on modifications there. There is a warm up, there is a cool down, and there will be two water breaks during the body of our workout. And just to let you know, one of the best things about this workout is that every single exercise you can either use with or without weights. So it's totally customizable and modifiable to you and your needs and where you're at today. So with that said, let's go ahead and grab your equipment and get some water and let's get after it. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and get started. Lay out your mat, have your dumbbells off to the side. I am going to get our timer going for our warm up. Okay, so we have about five seconds. First warm up exercise is going to be boxer shuffle. And here we go. Just a light boxer shuffle. Feel free to march in place if boxer shuffling is not ready, or if you're not ready for it yet. But go ahead and just do a light boxer shuffle. We're breathing and we're mentally preparing for all the great work that we are going to do over the next little while. Good stuff. Let's turn up, or I'm going to turn my body this way. Stick your heel out and scoop and arms up into a cactus and scoop arms into a cactus. So keep alternating your legs. Feel a good stretch in the back of the hamstrings and we're also warming up our upper body. Big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Excellent. Okay, come to the top of your mat, reverse lunge on one side and then reverse lunge on the other. Remember with the reverse lunges, the knee that's in front is behind your toes. Your chest is up nice and tall. Your belly's engaged. Your back knee is bending only as much as you want it to. Okay, good work. Legs out wide, toes slightly turned out. Lateral lunge over to one side, lateral lunge over to the left. So take this one slow. Let those hips loosen up. Let those muscles engage. And again, make sure your chest, your chest is gonna come down slightly, but you don't wanna be doing that, okay? So keep your heart up. Okay, bring your legs slightly closer together. I'm gonna to face this way. Hands toward your feet. You're gonna squat down and you're gonna straighten your legs to feel a stretch in the hamstrings. Squat down, hamstring stretch. Now with this one, I'm sure you guys can guess what I'm gonna say for a modification. Only lower your hips down as far as you can or as far as is comfortable. And do your hands have to touch your feet? No, they can be up here. That's totally fine. All right, let's go to the back of our mat, walk downs. And here we go. Walk it down, engage the belly, and walk it back up. And walk it down, engage the belly, and strong shoulders to push yourself or to walk yourself back in. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep going. Good 
Okay, next, let's come back out to our plank position. We're hanging out here. Let's bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand, bring it back to a plank, and then switch over to the left. So with this one, you're engaging your belly when you're in the plank, and you're feeling a good stretch in your hips. The front one and the back one. Keep going. Excellent. Last exercise in this warm up jumping jacks. Here we go. Now remember your modifications. This is a great one. This is our last exercise in the warm up. Feel free to speed up your pace. Just keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, there we have it, our warm up. Check that off the list. Next, let's roll right on in to our workout. Okay, go ahead and grab a weight. I'm gonna get our timer going. All right, for our first two exercises, actually for our first three exercises, I'm just gonna use one weight, okay? So, here we go. All right, so we're gonna do some dynamic chopping. We're gonna come down to one side, and then reach it up across the diagonal. All right, so my feet are stepping in and out. Make sure when you're lowering the weight towards your foot that your spine is still straight, okay? Meaning that you aren't rounding forward. Keep going. Good job, 10 second rest, same exact thing on the other side. And here we go. And reach it up, down, reach it up. Go as fast or as slow as you need to. Just keep breathing. Use the weight, don't use the weight. That's 1,000% up to you. Good job, 10 seconds rest. Keep breathing. Thrust jacks are next. I got my one weight. I'm thrusting it up. And I'm bringing it back down. So it's just like a jumping jack, only we're holding a weight. Modifications, drop the weight. Another modification, increase the weight. You don't wanna jump. This is perfect to do. Keep breathing. Good stuff, I'm picking up both my weights now. We've got a curtsy lunge, hammer curl. Okay, I'm gonna face this way just so that way I've got room. Did say hammer curl, didn't I? Yes. So curtsy lunge, hammer, and up. Curtsy, hammer, If you don't like curtsy lunges, go ahead and just do a regular reverse lunge. That's fine. Don't swing your weights, control the movement. Very good, okay. Next up, we're gonna do a squat, cactus arms, squat. It'll make sense, I promise. Okay, our arms are up here. We squat down, we come up, Cactus our arms, bring them back in, squat, cactus, squat, cactus. Keep going. We're almost to our first water break.
Keep breathing. Excellent. I'm going to drop one of my weights for the next exercise. Okay. I'm going to step out with a trunk rotation and then switch to the other side. Hold on to the weight. Don't hold on to the weight. Whatever you want. Speed it up. Slow it down. Up to you. Listen to your body, but don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Engage your lower belly. Excellent. Come down to the ground. We get to do a brush and twist now. We're going to work our abdominals. Okay, so here we go. I'm holding on to my weight. And I'm slowly going side to side. Why am I going so slow? I want to use muscles and not momentum. You get more bang for your buck that way. <clears throat> and at risk of sounding like a broken record, use the weight, don't use the weight. It's up to you. Good job. Okay. Next, we're going to do a reclined bicycle, and we have a few different options for what to do with our arms. Okay, so I'm going to recline back. I'm going to start bicycling my legs. Now I can have my arms up overhead, or I can have them out in front of me. I can use the weight, or I can lose the weight. That's the last time I'm going to mention the weights. You guys, you guys know. I'm going to have my arms up overhead because that feels good to me. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going. Don't lose your balance. Whew. Great job. Round one is done. Let's head into a water break. All right, let's roll right into our next group of exercises. Timer's good and started right now. We've got less than 10 seconds. Let's get to it. We have a reclined overhead press. So I'll face this way for you. My heels are into the ground. I'm reclining my upper body back, and then I'm doing a wide overhead press. My feet were a little too wide there. You want to keep your knees and your feet about shoulder distance apart on this one. Recline back a little bit more. Challenge those abdominals, but also keep tension out of the head, neck, and shoulders as you're reaching up overhead. Great work. Weights can be over to the side for now, or you can rest a weight right on your pelvis. All right, dig your heels into the ground, toes up, and we're just coming up into a bridge. So feel free to put a weight, like I said, on your pelvis. That can add a little bit more of a challenge to it. Depending on how heavy your weights are, you can maybe put both weights, one on each side. Up to you. For me, I like to use this exercise as kind of like a check-in, regulating my movement to make sure that I'm using my muscles properly. Excellent. 10 seconds rest. Next, we're going to do bridges again, but this time heels up, toes down. And here we go. Engage the belly, push the knees forward, and then come on back down. Keep those heels lifted as high as you can. Belly should be engaged on the way up and on the way down. Glutes are engaged on the way up, but you relax them just a little bit as the hips lower down. Remember, you're lifting from your hip creases, not here, all 
right? That isn't going to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. Great work, okay. Grab one weight for this next one, if you'd like. All right, so bring those legs up into a scissor, and we're gonna pass the weight underneath the legs as we scissor them. I'm also kind of adding an additional curl, just because it's kind of helping me pass the weight a little bit better but you guys don't have to necessarily curl up additionally like I am. Up to you. This is your workout, I'm just your guide. Feel free to take artistic liberties anytime you're working out with me. As long as you're using good form with your artistic liberties. All right, right side plank. All right, here we go. We're gonna come up into our plank. I'm gonna use my weight for this one. I'm gonna wrap my waist and I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna reach underneath, wrap my waist, come back up. I'm gonna take my time with this because it's easy to lose your balance. Slow and controlled. Keep going, one more. Excellent. Switch sides, same exact thing, just on the other side. Okie dokie, come on up into your plank. Way up, reach and wrap, and bring it up. Feel free to come down to your knee in your plank. Use any form of plank modification here that you'd like to do. Excellent. Come back up to standing. Two more exercises left in this round. Okay, so our feet are gonna be a little bit wider. We're gonna squat down, curl, Arms down, stand up. Squat, curl, and stand up. I'll face this way. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep your weight through the heels of your feet. Try to keep your back flat, meaning, or I should say your spine straight or your spine flat. Just make sure that you're not rounding here or arching there. All right, one more exercise. It's gonna be a little challenging. Squat jacks. Hi, Moo's. And of course, there's a cameo for Molly. All right, I'm holding my weight. I'll face this way. My knees are bent, my belly's engaged, my spine is straight, my hips are down and back behind me. Light on those toes. Modification, touch it out side to side. Less than 10 seconds, here we go. Use those glutes. Whew. Very, very good work. Take a few deep breaths, get a sip of water. I'll see you back here in one minute. All right, well, one more group of exercises to go, and then we have our cool down, and then we're done. So let's get to it. Timer is going. I'm gonna use both my weights for this next exercise. You can use one or none of your weights. Okay, so I'm gonna come back into a crescent pose. Arms up, arms down, and stand back up, and then switch sides. So your back leg, keep it straight. This isn't a lunge, this is more a crescent pose from yoga. 
When your arms go straight up in front of you, make sure you're not leaning back to accomplish the movement. Keep your upper body up straight and just move with precision and control. Good job. Okay, let's come down into a plank. I'm gonna use one weight here. All right, so I'm going to move the weight over to my left and then move it over to the right. Move it to the left, move it to the right. Keep going. Come down to your knees if you need to. Go ahead and have some space between your feet. Just gives you a wider base of support to move, to work with. Good job. Let's stand back up. I'm gonna use both my weights for this exercise. I'm gonna have my legs wide, coming down into a sumo squat, dropping off the weights, squat down, pick them up, squat down, drop them off, squat down, pick them up. Keep going. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Almost there. Good work. And then that's a little crooked here, there we go. Next exercise, I'm going to use both weights. All right, I've got them up like this. Reverse lunge, overhead press, knee drive, bring it on down. And again, same thing. Overhead press, knee drive, down. So my left leg is in front. My right leg is the one moving. Lunge, press, knee, down. Lunge, press, knee, down. Oh. <laughs> wow, I butchered that last one. Very sorry, guys. All right, I'll face this way for you. Same thing, just on the other side. All right, arms up. So lunge, press, knee, down. Lunge, press, knee, down. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Press, knee, down. Lunge, press, knee, and down. Okay, that one was a little confusing combo there. Next up, something less. Less combo-y there. Deadlift upright row. So, deadlift, upright row. Deadlift, upright row. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Weight through your heels. Spine straight as you're sticking your hips back behind you. Feel a good stretch in your hand means as you're going down into your deadlift. Very, very good. Okay, we have two more exercises left. That's awesome. I'm putting my weights down for this one. We're doing mountain climbers. Just a little bit of a cardio boost right before we finish and head into our cool down. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Push the floor away from you. Strong shoulders. Take this as fast or as slow as you want. I'm kind of hanging out in the middle today. Try to keep your shoulders over your hands. You don't want to be back here. Great work. I'm using one weight for this last exercise. And here we go. We're doing a high knees 
as we have our arms in a circle, nice wide circle, and we're rotating. Now because you're holding a weight, make sure you're not swinging that weight around. Use your belly to rotate your trunk and to pull that leg up. Keep going, a few more seconds. Very, very good. Good job, good job. If you want, go ahead and take another sip of water right now. I'm gonna switch our timer over for our cool down. There we go, okay. Eight more seconds. Let's just do big breaths in, big breaths out. Okay, let's stick this right leg out in front of you. Sink your hips back behind you. And reach down towards your foot. Feel the good stretch back of the thigh. You can also do this sitting, by the way, which I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to sitting right now. Why did I just switch to sitting? It just feels better on my body. So you choose a hamstring stretch. <clears throat> choose the hamstring stretch that feels good for your body. There's a ton of different ways to stretch your hamstrings. So, <clears throat> so you choose what feels right for you or do something completely different. And you can just use my timer as a guide. Big breaths in and out through the nose. Let the heart rate kind of calm down. Maybe rotate side to side. Okie dokie. I'm gonna lay down to stretch out my hip. All right, here we go. So I'm pulling the left side in, reaching underneath the left thigh pushing the right elbow into my right leg to feel a good stretch in the right hip. Head, neck, and shoulders, ooey gooey and relaxed. All right, let's switch sides. Feel free to rock side to side if you're in this piriformis stretch with me, just to change up the angle of the stretch. Very good, very good. Let's come up into a runner's lunge. I'm gonna put my left foot in front, my right foot in back. You can have both hands on the side or on either side of your left foot. You can have your left hand on your left knee. You can rock back and forth, or you can just drop the knee down. Whatever's gonna give you a nice stretch through the front of that right hip. Let's switch. You can start out here just to kind of get into it. And then lift that knee up, rock back and forth. You can do some trunk rotations here if you'd like. A few more seconds. All right, let's come on down. I'm gonna crisscross my legs. I'm gonna come up into a mermaid stretch up and over to the left to stretch out my right side. If you're following along with me, feel free to rotate your chest down to the ground. Rotate it up to the ceiling just to change the angle of the stretch. 
Big deep breaths in. Try to get your bicep closer to your ear. Good stuff. And up and over to the other side. This is our last stretch of this cool down. All of you did some great, great work today. Make sure you to lean a little bit forward in the mermaid. Don't hang out back here. Get that arm a little bit closer to the ear for a deeper stretch. Okay. Let's go ahead and just reach our arms up overhead. Take a big breath in. And then blow it all out. All right. There we have it. That was our total body strength and cardio routine. So I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed creating it and sharing it with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. You could literally be anywhere else in the world right now, but you're here working out with me. And I appreciate you for that and make sure that you take time to appreciate yourself and all the hard work that you do today as well. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job. Workout complete.